Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day that I finally tackle my wardrobe. The worst job ever. I hate putting away washing. I hate doing my wardrobe. The rest of the house, like kids' wardrobes, Mike's wardrobes, okay. The kids' wardrobes are perfect. Everything's very well organized, very tidy. I put away the washing beautifully. <laughs> but when it comes around to mine, I'm just like, no, not, not here for it. I didn't even get around to organizing it for like winter it's gonna be a journey today i'm sure um i'm gonna try and be brutal with what i keep and what i don't keep a lot of it doesn't fit me anymore thanks lockdown um so yeah let's let's do this this is what we are working with i'm so embarrassed as you can see from all the stuff at the top my wardrobe just kind of becomes dumping ground for everything football kits, stuff that I hold on to because I'm a sentimental hoarder. The stuff down here I've literally just pulled out. It doesn't always look like that. I, I don't know where I'm gonna actually start with this. Normally I just chuck it all on my bed and then I find it really overwhelming and I'm like, why did I start this? So I might try a different technique this time. I might just take each item out and be like, very Mary Kondo and be like, am I gonna wear this? Does it spark joy? I hate that this is even my background. Hideous. Um, I'm going to chuck on a time lapse. I feel like that will be the best way to get through this. Let's go. <laughs> so this is where we're at currently. Some dresses here um, that I wear, well, I wore basically the whole of last summer to be honest my style hasn't <laughs> changed so i'm gonna definitely hold on to these some shirts here. i need to try on this vest because that is not looking like it's gonna fit me and then these pieces are staying and then over here i have some t-shirts and vests that i reach for quite often so i'm gonna keep them hung up if i can if i've got space um if not i'll pile them up <laughs> got one pile here ready for charity which I feel like is good I mean I've still got a lot of stuff here um but it's stuff that I will wear promise <laughs> some t-shirts that I reach for all the time dresses kind of like out dresses and more casual at home like in the garden stuff my beloved Reese jumpsuit which I don't think I can ever get rid of and also it was altered um so I couldn't really sell that now I mean I clearly love this print whoops um one was top shop one was asos two seasons oh my gosh this was the top that i had everly in <laughs> is that gross no i don't think so um but i just can't get rid of it so i think that'll be in my wardrobe until i'm 100 years old i'm most definitely at that point where i'm like why did i start this um but gonna keep going <laughs> but I've chosen to do it on the hottest day of the year thus far which is great and now work on this area I don't know why I've just left two random dresses up here I'm gonna sort through the stuff in like on the bottom of the wardrobe it looks a lot more intense than actually it is because there's two like plastic storage boxes of kids stuff um, I said earlier that this wardrobe just become a bit of a dumping ground basically because of things like swimming certificates and artwork that you can't throw away photos these are all the things that like there's no room I mean the loft is already chock-a-block of kind of baby stuff that we've just held on to I need to get it all sorted up there that's kind of my next job I think I can't bear it I this box here that's just got Everly's things in it, clothes from when I was a baby. I mean, they're precious, they're precious things. I am back. I took a, a break. <laughs> I found myself getting super emotional at things, um, which is typical me, um, but I found a few things in my <laughs> memory boxes that made me cry. <laughs> Ignore that. I know it's not a great aesthetic. I know it's not. Whatever, that's for another day. I've cleared all of this now. Not my jumpers up there because I think I'm just going to chuck my other jumpers straight back up. Neither have I done my jeans. I need to try them all on. 
However, I did just find this, which I remember ordering from Amazon with really great intentions. So I'm gonna hang that up, see if it fits. If not, I'll put it my side. <laughs> It'd never be a capsule wardrobe girl, clearly. I do have loads and loads and loads for charity though, which is great. I think I've got some up in the loft, vacuumed, like maternity stuff. So as soon as charity shops are open, so we're slowly getting there i filled up the rail this isn't in any like kind of order i still need to go through that so i've just put in like my trousers um it's all of like my favorite linen trousers and stuff that i live in in the summer and then, of course, I had to find a space for all of my lockdown sweatshirts. So I think this is working well at the minute. We haven't hit any major issues, um, but that may be still to come with the jeans. So I'm now moving on to jeans. However, I'm not going to try them on in this video because I'm a little bit bloated. <laughs> at the minute so I know that I'm not going to get like a true representation of what fits and what doesn't. I'm going to make piles of ones that I definitely want to keep and then ones that I can move on. Like jeans fade. Mine so much when they're like blue jeans or black jeans when they're faded it's like out. I've so popped in these jeans here um, but here are a bunch as well for charity which I just know they're going to be too small, which is a shame because there's some nice ones in there. The Zara dress was hiding in a pile um, and the Zara dress that managed to get me in the Daily Mail. We've got to keep it, huh? I've got a pile of stuff here in the hallway for the bin. And so in that sense, I think I've done well. I'm going to put my hats and bags and stuff in here. Doors. That. Clothes. I'm not even mad at the fact that it's not all like beautifully colour coded and in order. Well it is kind of in order. I've got my jumpsuits and my dresses and my shirts and blouses. T-shirts I reach for all the time and then here I've just got a couple of sweatshirts that didn't fit in this little bit. All of my nice linen trousers, my bags and hats, jeans and my knitwear. So that is a job done and I'm really really pleased. I know it's not like your Pinteresty minimal <laughs> organising video. I'm just not that girl. <laughs> just have a more organised space. I can actually find my clothes now which is always <laughs> a good thing. Thank you to those of you over on Instagram that spurred me on to do this video. I think I mentioned in the story that it was just chaotic and you were like just film it. I'm heading off for the school run now because as expected it did take all day. We did it, we got through it. Tears and all. Yeah, thank you very much and I will see you guys soon. Hopefully not for another wardrobe organising video.